hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make crispy and yummy kachori kachori is a crispy Indian snack that is made with a stuffing today I'm going to make potato kachori it will be so crispy from the outer side and so yummy from the inner side so guys let's see the recipe at first we need to sieve the flour I'm going to use two cups of flour the first cup is all-purpose flour and the second cup of flour will be whole wheat flour you may take totally whole wheat flour or totally uh, all-purpose flour there's no problem we need to sieve the flour very well after sieving I'm adding some cooking oil I'm adding two tablespoons of refined oil refined soybean oil and about half teaspoon of salt for taste and half teaspoon of ajwine that means carom seeds we'll crush the carom seeds in our palms like this and now we need to mix the flour very well with the oil rubbing this way you may notice my hand how i'm doing this after mixing the flour very well with the oil the flour should be like this i can bind a laddu with this flour you may notice it and now it's perfect now we need to add some water gradually little by little and knead a dough i'm going to knead a soft dough not hard at all add water little by little don't add too much water at a time because we need to maintain the consistency of the dough so let's make the dough I have made the dough as you can notice and it's a soft dough now I'm covering the dough for some time in the meantime let's make the potato stuffing so I have put a frying pan on the gas oven and added some cooking oil after the oil is heated well I'm adding about half teaspoon of cumin seeds 1 4 teaspoon of mustard seeds and half teaspoon of crushed coriander seeds after all the spices are fried well i'm adding some boiled potatoes at first i'm adding three boiled potatoes and crushing them smashing them and gauging the quantity i think some more potato is needed according to the dough i made so i'm adding another boiled potato smashing it also and now we need to add some more spices so at first i'm adding about one teaspoon of crushed roasted red chilies you may add red chili powder or red chili flakes instead there's no problem and some salt according to taste mixing a little and now we need to add some chaat masala if you don't have chaat masala you may add some amchur powder that means dry mango powder i'm adding about one teaspoon of chaat masala and about half teaspoon of lemon juice after adding this we need to mix everything very well combine everything very well the heat is low now this way let's combine all the things and our stuffing is ready potato stuffing is ready let's turn the heat off and leave the pan for some time to cool down after the stuffing cools down fully we'll make the kachoris so after some time the stuffing is cooled down fully and the dough is ready also so let's make the kachoris i'm taking a rolling surface and a rolling pin and we need to take a portion from the dough a portion like a regular portion for roti that means chapati let's make it round and roll it a little roll it thick not thin You may flatten it with your hand also but i'm using the rolling pin like this a thick roti is made as you can see i'm showing you the thickness of the roti here it is and now i'm going to put some stuffing on the roti you may take the quantity of the stuffing according to your choice there's no problem according to your wish your choice i added it and now we need to close the 
पॉकेट इट्स लाइक मोमो और डम्पलिंग्स लाइक दिस दर इज नो एक्स्ट्रा डो आफ्टर रैपिंग सो आई एम नॉट कटिंग इट एंड नाउ वी नीड टू फ्लैटन इट विथ आवर हैंड डोंट यूज योर रोलिंग पिन नाउ आई एम फ्लैटनिंग इट विथ माई हैंड फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स इट्स डन आई एम टेकिंग इट आउट इन अ प्लेट एंड मेकिंग द सेकेंड कचोरी I roll the uh, roti and put the stuffing on the roti and now closing it There's some extra dough after wrapping this kachori so we need to remove it I'm going to cut the extra dough after uh, after wrapping the kachori like this It's good now we need to flatten it like the previous i'm spreading some uh, dry flour and flattening it with my hand it's also done i'm taking it out in the same plate and in the same process i'm going to make rest of the kachoris so i have made four kachoris right now and now i'm going to fry them so i'm heating the oil we need a medium hot oil so i'm checking the dough it's bubbling so that means uh, that the oil is medium hot and uh, i kept the heat on low now i'm adding the kachoris i'm adding two kachoris in a batch at first we need to fry them on medium heat for about 2 to 3 minutes and after that we should turn the heat on the lowest on low heat we need to fry the kachoris for making a crispy kachoris from the outer side and it will be so yummy from the inner side because our stuffing is so much yummy and tasty i tasted it of course on low heat i'm frying them until a nice red color and the color is nice red now i'm removing them from the oil draining the oil nicely and taking it on a kitchen tissue or towel paper so in the same process i'm going to fry all the kachoris in the meantime i'm going to make the rest of the kachoris of course let's fry them and now i'm showing it after serving i'm serving some uh, tamarind chutney and some yogurt with the kachoris they are so much yummy and tasty i'm going to cut it uh, to show the inner side of the kachori instead of chutney or yogurt you may serve some curry some rich curry with the kachoris like uh, paneer or chicken or chole anything i'm going to cut it cut a kachori to show the inner side you may notice that it's so much crispy from the outer side its layer is so much crispy it's breaking just and the inner side is full of stuffing and it's so much yummy believe me it's so yummy and tasty and crispy and the recipe is also easy so don't forget to try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye bye take